Hi friends, today is Wednesday, March 25th, 2020, and the weather is sunny, so I hope you get to go outside and play today. And we have our Lecture of the Week. Wednesday begins with a W, and so does weather. And remember, our W says W, W. So some of the words that you guys came up with for our W words, let me show those to you. We have worm, watermelon, water, water, whale, walrus, and wagon. Remember, this is how we make our W. We start at the top, we go down, up, down, and up. And then the little W, the lowercase W, is just the same. So practice those Ws. So today we're going to go over our alphabet cards. And you can do this with me. Ready? Allie Alligator says, ah, ah, ah. Bubba Bear says, b, b, b. Katina Cat says, k, 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 k. Dee Dee Deer says, d, d, d. Oops. D. Ellie Elephant says, eh, eh, eh. Francie Fish says, f, f, f. Gordo Gorilla says, g, 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 g. Honey Horse says, <gasps> Any Inchworm says, eh, eh, eh. Jerry Jellyfish says, j, j, j. Kato Kangaroo says, k, 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 k. Lizzie Lizard says, oh, oh, oh. Missy Mouse says, mmm, 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 mmm. Nigel Night Owl says, mmm, mmm. All the octopus says, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Pee Wee Penguin says pa 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 pa. Queenie Quail says qua qua qua. Robbie Rabbit says er er er. Sammy Snake says. Timmy Tiger says t. Um, the umbrella bird says, uh, uh, uh. Vincent Vampire Bat says, v, v, v. Xavier Fox says, x, x, x. Yancy Yak says, y, 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 y. And Zeke Zebra says Zzz. And then we have Willy Weasel. Willy Weasel says Wuh, 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 wuh. And we have a mystery reader today. Emma has come to read you a story about the good egg. by Jory John and Pete Oswald. This book was given to us by our friend Leo in our class, so thank you, Leo. The Good Egg. Oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. Know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. It's true. I do all kinds of good things. Like, I'll carry your groceries, I'll water your plants, I'll change your tires, I'll paint your house. If you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start, even in my earliest days back at the store. There were a dozen of us living together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg, 
and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly good. They ignored their bedtime. They only ate sugary cereal. They threw tantrums. They cried for no reason. They broke their stuff on purpose. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg, a very good egg. Nobody seemed to care though. Every night I was exhausted. My head felt scrambled. Then one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. They were everywhere. He said, yikes. My doctor said it was from all the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure everybody was as good as me. I was cracking up, literally. Something had to change. I'd had enough. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in a bad carton, I said. Blah, 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 they replied. I left that night. I wandered from town to town. The hours became days. The days became weeks. I lost track of time. I was alone. Out there on the road, under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I needed. I took walks, I read books, I floated in the river, I wrote in my journal. I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in, I breathed out, I even started painting. For once, I found time for me. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. I started to feel like myself again. So I've made a big decision. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. This time I know what I need to do. I'll try not to worry so much. I'll be good to my fellow eggs while also being good to myself. Here we go. Everybody missed me. I missed them too. Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hey, Greg. Greetings, Clegg. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. Hey, oh, Sheldon. Hi, Shelby. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? Howdy do, other Frank. Sure, every once in a while, somebody's still a little bit bad, but it's not like before. Here's what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect, and I don't have to be either. I'm okay with that. Yep, the old carton is back together. We're a solid dozen again. It's good to be home. The end. Alright friends, I want to share with you our Bible devotion today. He calls out to the earth from the sunrise in the east to the sunset in the, sunset in the west. And that's Psalm 50 verse 1. God made the sun to shine during the day to give us light so we can see. He made the sun to warm the earth. God made the sun to help plants and trees and flowers grow. Every day the sun comes up in the morning to give us light and warmth we need. When you see the sun, you can say thank you to God for putting it in the sky. Lord, you made the great big sun to shine its light on everyone. So I wanted to just show you how your plants are doing because they have been out in the sunshine and the rain. So I'm gonna take you on a little field trip to see your plants. So here are your plants and they're growing really beautifully. This is Maggie's. This one is Blake's. 
This one is Amelia's. This one is Kaylee's. This one is Hudson Blocks. This one is Savannah's. This one right here is Hudson Robertson's. This one right here is Peyton's. Here we have Chloe's. This one is Mallory's. This one is Werner's. This one is Charlotte's. This one is Ellie Joy's. This one is Leo's. And this one is read it, Evelyn's. So look how beautiful your grass has grown and look at those roots. So God brought that sunshine and that rain to help your plants grow. They've been out in my yard growing. So friends, today let's review the word that we learned yesterday. We learned the word oviparous. And oviparous animals are animals that are completely formed in an eggshell. So here's some of our oviparous animals. A chicken, octopus, turtle, alligator, bird, butterfly, ladybird, duck, and penguin. And I've even got my own little oviparous animal right here. Remember our number this week is the number 20. So let's count in two ways. We're gonna count by ones, and then we're gonna count by tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Remember we learned to count by tens, so we count 10 and 20. So friends, tomorrow we're going to do a live Zoom again at about 9.15, so I hope you guys will tune in then and we can all talk together and talk about um, our week. If you have time today, maybe you could pick an oviparous animal, draw that oviparous animal, and post it so that we can all see that oviparous animal. Have a great day. I love you, and I hope I'll see you soon.